really exists, and now it's all mine! I think I'm a genius. No, about my pot. I threw it in ceramics class. Well, I hope you're planning to keep throwing it straight into the trash can. Oh, and I suppose you could do better? I'm doing something way better than making mutated pots from Mars. My card? Martin Mysteries Paranormal Hotline for all your paranormal needs, free no obligation over the phone estimates. Uh-huh. Now people who need me can call direct. <laughs> nice card, Martin. Thumb up. Yeah, thumbs up, all right, on your lamest scheme yet. You'll have every crackpot in the country pranking you 24-7. The only crackpot around here is the one in your hands. Seriously, Martin, I think twice before you start something like this. Too late. They're already running my ads in Paranormal Weekly and Tales of the Really, Really Weird. Aha! Excuse me. Business call. Martin Mysteries Paranormal Hotline. Weird is my middle name. What's up? Dude, I'm so stoked you picked up! No problemo. Martin Mysteries Paranormal Hotline is always there for you. What do I do if all the teachers in school have been turned into brain-sucking zombies? The teachers in your school have been turned into zombies? That's so cool! Uh, no, I was just wondering, you know, what I should do, just in case that ever does happen. Oh, this hotline is for serious paranormal emergencies only! Oh. How's business going, Mr. Paranormal? <laughs> Uh -huh. <clears throat> Martin Mysteries Paranormal Hotline, weird is my middle name. What's up? Help! I'm in big trouble! Oh, trouble is our other middle name. What seems to be the problem? I'm trapped up here in the Canadian woods, and something is after me! Uh, hey, is this... Marvin? Yes, it's Marvin. I need help! Wow, I haven't spoken to you in, like, forever. Hey, why are you calling me? Aren't you a center agent? Yeah, but I'm in over my head. You gotta help me or I... I'm sorry, call during regular business hours and I'll see if I can fit you in. But I can't come in. I can't even leave the building. Normal business hours, Marvin. Now go sleep it off. Huh, that guy is a real piece of work. Martin, open up! Ah, sleeping, go away! Martin, get up! Marvin's in big trouble! <laughs> Hold tight, we'll be right there! You do realize you're dragging me out here for nothing. But Marvin sounded really freaked out! That's just the way Marvin sounds when he wants attention. He gets all excitable like a little kid. <laughs> excitable? He's enthusiastic, one of his many good traits. A many? Name two. Well, he's enthusiastic, smart, detail-oriented, thorough, and he doesn't come up with harebrained schemes that... Uh, hold that thought. My harebrained scheme... I, I mean, my phone is ringing. Martin Mysteries Paranormal Hotline. Weird is my middle name. What's up? Hi, Miss Tree. I need a psychic reading really bad. Uh, you need what? A psychic reading. Miss Tree, I think I met my soulmate. It's mystery! Martin Mystery, not Miss Tree. And I don't do psychic readings. Thanks for calling. Bye. <laughs> sure is a lot of demand for a paranormal hotline out there. Yeah, well, if you can fit it in between your psychic readings, we've got a center agent to save. Wow. 
Wow, Marvin must have messed up big time for Mom to station him way out here. I'm sure there's a perfectly logical reason he's out here. Marvin? Are you in there? Marvin? Uh, he's probably sleeping, <sighs> which is what we should be doing. Okay, Marvin, where's the fire? <laughs> Quick, we've got to bar the door before it gets us! should do it for now. Wow, Marvin, that was really quick thinking. And a really, really lucky throw. That's the thing that's been after me. I think it's gone for now. Hey, I'm usually the first one to suspect a mystery, but I think this is probably just a rabid squirrel. That's no squirrel, it's worse. It's evil. Come on, Marvin. Rule number one of the paranormal agent training book. Don't jump to conclusions, but... A few days ago, I felt it watching me from the woods. Yesterday, it attacked. I've been holed up inside ever since. Hmm. Then we better come up with an escape plan before it's too late. Uh, I was just uh, washing up. Uh, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay, something's definitely up with Marvin. I've never seen him rattled like this. I'd be rattled too if I were up here all alone. Well, what have we here? Apparently, Marvin missed a clue right under his nose. Huh? Check it out. Marvin wasn't sent out here. He has to be stationed here. Wow, now this is weird. What? Marvin won a bunch of radio call-ins for free stuff. And mail in sweepstakes, and he hasn't even cashed the checks. Hey! That's classified! <laughs> How'd you do that? Do what? Uh, it's inside! All right, let's round this critter up fast so I can get back to Torrington in time for Java's pancakes. <laughs> Wait for me! We're getting closer! This way! Martin? Martin! <laughs> There you are, you little nut collector. You watch activated. X rod selected. Oh. Mart Mysteries Paranormal Hotline, we are. Uh, I'll have to call you back. Hey, where'd you go? Diana, Martin, where'd you guys go? <sighs> huh? Who's there? Martin? Come on, Martin, this isn't funny! <sighs> <sighs> No, you have it! I want it back! There's no escape! Hey, where'd Marvin go? Help me! Uh, help me! Over there! And it doesn't sound like he's alone! Let's go! Uh, help! It's got me! Help! Uh, help! Marvin, where is it? Get me out of here! Okay, where's it at? Let's put this thing out of here.
a commission. He disappeared. Again. Maybe we should too. Yeah, yeah, we have to get out of here. Now. I can't believe we're running away. Oh, wait. I have to go back inside and get something. Oh, what could possibly be so important? I, uh, forgot my sweater. Just leave it, Marvin. Let's get out of here. Um, but it's my favorite. He's been up in these woods way too long. He's got a bad case of cabin fever. Well, maybe that thing's not out there anymore. Why don't you go find out? Hmm. the hair I found. It's the only clue we've got. No! We can't! No way! Forget it! Why? What's wrong? Uh, uh, nothing. It's just, you know, I hate running to Mom with every little problem. He is acting a little strange. I don't know. Marvin's always been a little funny. All right. We'll go to Torrington and figure things out there. That's great! <laughs> You're right. He's acting strange even for Marvin. Oh, not again. Relax, I'll let voicemail get it. I sure am doing a brisk business. Hello, you've reached Martin Mysteries Paranormal Hotline, offering free consultations at our centrally located Torrington Academy office. Drop by the nurse? Uh, no, 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 no. I I'm fine. I, I just have to figure out what that thing was that was after me. Phew, he might want to consider taking a shower sometime, too. Come on, come on, let's see that hair you found. Uh, here it is. Uh, give it to me! I'll see what it is! Easy, Marvin. We can all examine it together as a team. Uh, give it to me! Give it to me! Uh, 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 I prefer to work alone. Huh? Oh. Thank you. Mind if I use your room? was lucky. Yeah, a little too lucky. Do you get the feeling Marvin's not totally telling the truth? Yeah, luckily, neither am I. This is the real red hair. The one that Marvin took was from a sweater. Now, let's find out who this belonged to. You watch activated. Bioscan selected. The hair belongs to Lug, a 16th century Irish leprechaun. A leprechaun? Like the thing on the cereal box? <laughs> you watch activated. Legend X selected. Luke's magical four-leaf clover gives luck to whoever has it in their possession. <gasps> Marvin found Luke's lucky clover. No wonder he wanted to be stationed out in the middle of nowhere. You watch interfacing with Martin's computer. Marvin's researching leprechauns. <laughs> leprechauns disappear the second you take your eyes off them? That's why we couldn't catch Luke. <laughs> oh, what now? <laughs> 
I'll become a millionaire, or maybe now Jenny will want to be my girlfriend. <sighs> Always after my lucky charm. I know you're behind one of these, Martin. I guess. This one! <laughs> that really was a lucky guess! Let go, you hairy troll! It's all mine! Not for long! <gasps> Look out! <laughs> Please! Martin Mystery's not gonna fall for the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> no! Luke! <laughs> <laughs> Where's the clover? Right here. Luckily, someone kept their eye on the leprechaun. Aha! Martin! Martin, stop acting crazy! I'm trying. I just can't help myself. Oh, no. Give it. Now that's a good idea. You want activated. X rod selected. <laughs> Whoa. I've got to get rid of this thing once and for all. Java, come with me quickly. What wrong, Diana? So that's why we have to destroy the clover. Wow, little plant, big evil. But how are we gonna get rid of it? You want activated. Legend X selected. <sighs> the clover can't be destroyed by anything but the hottest blacksmith's fire. Sorry, Java, not blacksmith. <gasps> the pottery kiln. Maybe if we toast the clover in there, it'll break the spell. Let's go. Too late. I know. Java, can you throw it into the chimney? Mm, Java got tennis elbow. I'd have to be the luckiest throw ever. And I'm about the least luckiest person there is. Unless... <laughs> when the clover is out of its case, it brings good luck. Me, it's fine! I found it! Back off! <laughs> Throw Diana! <laughs> Diana did it! Diana did it! Lucky shot. Lug, you're... <laughs> normal. Yeah, except for the weird clothes. <laughs> I guess the spell is broken. And thank you for that. As long as I had the clover, I was the luckiest man I'd ever set eyes upon. Except that I was an evil, greedy little leprechaun. I tried to throw the cursed thing away, but I couldn't keep me hands off it. Thank you for saving me.
Then what were you thinking keeping the clover for yourself? Sorry, I just couldn't help myself. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to be punished. I know. Just please, please don't send me back up to the woods. Don't be too hard on a Mom. It's a basic rookie mistake. Then what's your excuse? And she took it too! That's right. Excellent work, Diana. Very <laughs> quick thinking. At least someone showed their experience. <sighs> I'm glad that's finally over. Now I can get back to important stuff. <sighs> like a good day's sleep, right after I catch up on a little paranormal hotline business. Hello, Martin, Miss Tree. You have 2,313 new voice messages. To hear your messages, press 1 now. <laughs> See you in the morning, Miss Tree. 